Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we have a uh, interesting news item about uh, Google and uh, the Google Chrome browser. Um, so, Google Chrome is what is used by a big majority of people, and I think Google is coming to a point where it's understanding that it needs to be more transparent about tracking and ways that they are tracking you. Um, what Google wants to do, and there's no word yet as to what version could have this or when it could be implemented, but what Google wants to do is implement a new feature that it will be opt-in, so that means you'll have to go into your settings and go change the options for that. But that new op that new option would be called IP protection. So what's IP protection? First of all, what's an IP? An IP is a um, address that is assigned to you by your internet service provider. You have to have an IP to be on the internet and to connect to different services and servers and so on. No IP, no internet. Um, it's a little bit like your postal address. It kind of clearly identifies you as a very specific location and a very specific uh, who you are, basically. Now, what happens is that Google says that some websites are actually tracking you using IP address. Why? When we were going dial-up, if you guys remember and you had a modem you had to connect through the phone and so on, it wasn't much of a problem because most of the time your IP address was kind of bouncing around and changing every time you connect. But today we have connections that are pretty much constant 24 hours with the modems. And what happens with that is that your IP never changes. And even if you disconnect your modem and reconnect it 6 or 12 hours later, a lot of ISPs have decided now to simply assign always the same IP address to your connection, even if you disconnect. So, of course, websites use that to track you, and they know when you come back, they know where you go, they know a lot of things because of the IP address. The uh, IP protection, when turned on, would actually send the traffic of Google Chrome through proxies and in, in the Google servers, which means it would bounce, and they want to bounce it twice for increased uh, tracking prevention, which means you would hop into one server, into a second server, and then into your content, and the IP address would be different. And every time you would go, your IP address would always be different. So there would be no more ways to really track you using the IP since every time you'd go back, you'd have a different IP address. Now you might say, well, you know, yeah, okay, it's going through Google stuff, so it's going to be tracked there. Uh, Google says that the only thing that their computers will be doing, their servers will be doing proxy jumping. There will be no tracking done there uh, at all. And what they want to do is to try to, um, you know, prevent websites from using the IP address as a tracking mode for your, um, you know, different things you do on the Internet. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I think it's an interesting idea. Um, I think every browser should have uh, the possibility to hide your IP. Uh, I think that would be something nice. Uh, they say that it does come with a security problem, especially when sites are hit with uh, distributed denial of service attacks. Uh, so they're going to try to see how they can mitigate this problem because now your IP is hidden, so it's kind of uh, hard to um, see the difference between maybe an IP that is a um, you know a, an attack IP and a real IP. So we'll see what happens with that anyways. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching. What do you think of this idea? You are going to turn it on or not when it actually happens on the browser.